Right, uh, nobody likes this one. Okay, now, you're looking to find the amount of millilitres, all right? Um, so, we've got two solutions that when we add together, I know I want to get 150 millilitres, okay? So, I've got some solution that's 51%, um, I've got some solution that's 66%, it might be 51% of an alcohol solution and 66% of an alcohol solution, we don't know. But anyway, we've got these two solutions, when I add them together, I've got 150 millilitres, all right? Now remember, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for how many millilitres. So there's going to be an X or a Y that equals millilitres. So I'm going to write this first, okay? So um, I've got amount of solution. I don't know what it is. But when I add some more solution, okay, don't know what it is. I do know that I'm going to get 150 millilitres of solution, okay? So there we go, two solutions added together, I've got a total, I need 150 millilitres. Now, this is where, again, the, uh, the difficult bit comes in. Now, imagine if you've got, you know, $100 in your bank, all right? So there you go, $100. You get 4% interest, 4%. Okay, so after a year, you know, how much interest have you got? Well, it's going to be $4, isn't it? 4% 4 of 400 is just $4. Now, how you've done that is you've done this. You've changed the percentage to a decimal, and you've multiplied it by the amount of money you have in the bank. Okay? So that's it. So it is percentage times an amount. So I'm going to make that little note somewhere. Put it over here. Don't forget percentage times the amount. All right? So I'll just abbreviate it to amount like that, okay? So, and that'll give me the amount of interest, okay? So anyway, but that's in a bank. How about here? Look, here we go. Now I know the amount of one is X and the amount of one is Y. I don't know what they are. Added together makes 150, but how about the percentages? So, I've got 51% of this X solution, okay? I've called the 51% the X solution. As a decimal, that's 0.51. Again, percentage times the amount. I don't know what it is. I'm going to call it X. All right, percentage times the amount, plus another percentage times the amount. That's 66%. So I'm going to write that's 0.66 times the amount. Don't know what it is. There's the y. Okay. So there we go. So that's percentage times an amount x, and another percentage times an amount y. That's what I'm looking for. Equals what is the kind of total percentage times the amount? Well, I know the amount is 150, and the percentage I want to get to is 54%. Again, somewhere in between 51 and 66. When you mix solutions, you're kind of making one stronger, the other weaker. You get somewhere in between. So, what's that doing there? Um, 0.54. So there's the percentage. Here, now I do know the amount. It's 150. Okay? So, there we go. Okay? Now, I can actually, because I actually do that, I'm going to have to actually give my calculator out. Um, I can actually do that on the... Um, right hand side okay so bear with me calculator so 0.54 times 150 equals that's 81 so that equals 81 okay so all of that equation okay equals 81 so these are my uh, two equations x plus y equals 150 that's just the amount of milliliters okay mixed together how about percentage of solution mixtures Percentage times the amount with another one equals the percentage times the amount right in the first sentence, all right? Not easy. But after this, now, so here we go. I've got an X plus Y equals 150. That's the total amount of solution. The other one was just percentage of solution. Uh, now, I'm going to multiply all. I mean, if you're going to get rid of decimals, why not multiply all by 100? Okay, if you multiply all by 100, I'm going to get 51X plus, let's make that a bigger x, plus 66y equals, so again, what's the 81 times 100? 81, 100, okay? So this one here, I'll just do it because I, I obviously changed the right-hand side to be a, a number 81, okay? That's been multiplied by 100, okay? So, Substitution, elimination by addition. I what? Uh, uh, if I'm, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to do uh, substitution. I'll just multiply this. Sorry, elimination by negative fifty-one. All right. 
Okay, so if that's been multiplied by negative 51, so I get a negative 51x to match the positive 51x. If you want to do substitution, you go ahead and do it. I'm going to get this, right, negative 51x. Negative 51y equals, now what's 150 times negative 51? Here we go. Um, right, what are we doing? We're doing 150 times negative 51. That is negative 7, 6, 5, 0. Oh. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, so there's my two equations. Uh, I'm going to do elimination method. So I've got a 51x, so I want the first one to be negative 51x. So I'm multiplied by negative 51. And can you see, I always use my pen, the x's are going to go, but we're going to have, what's that, 15y, 66 take away 51, equals, and what's that, is that 450, it is 450, okay, that's 8100, take away 7650, divide both sides by 15, And it looks like, is it y equals 30? So I have 30 milliliters of what's the y one? I think y is the 66% solution. So I'll put that in parentheses, okay? Remember, that's the 66% one, okay? Right, because um, uh, that's the one I chose for y. So how much do I have? Well, what's it going to be? 120, okay? Remember, the total together makes 150, so the x1 must be 120 okay just because I've gone back to the very first here we go look at this so it must be so that must be it it must be 120 milliliters of the 51 percent solution and 30 milliliters of the 66 percent solution okay and together that makes 150 Whew, not easy but just you know play it again have a look through it